Congratulations on the win. I gotta ask, end of the game, you're watching your fellow Dom try to close it out. That was a crazy at bat. I think someone like yeah. 13 pitches. Kind of what's going through your mind in that moment trying to, you know, finish out this win? Oh, I had all the trust in Dom. I knew he was gonna execute the pitches at the end of the day and get the out. So I trusted him throughout the whole what? rest of that bat. What about this atmosphere tonight? It's what you dream of, you know. We want to play some playoff baseball, and I feel like tonight was had that playoff atmosphere, so it's just what the next future weeks are gonna hold. You had a no-hitter going for a four a little bit there. Just what was it like on the mound as you got started there? Yeah, I mean, we don't really think long-term, like, outing result-wise. It's just a matter of keep executing the pitches, and at the end of the day, the, the stats are what the stats are, and you just got to trust what you're doing pitch by pitch. As far as executing those pitches, what was working well for you tonight? Uh, I just think the way uh, Coach Thomas was calling the pitches and making sure they were mixing the right way, I think they all work together as a whole. You kind of know it early when you're like going to be in a group. Can you feel it in the first inning that's going to be a good outing? or is it um, kind of game by game? Sometimes. I, this wasn't one of them for some whatever reason, but really? sometimes there you do have that feeling early on. You run out of gas a little bit there towards the end. You could just yeah, I definitely I think I ran out a little bit of gas, but that's something I got to work on as the next couple weeks go. I mean, knowing last night was not was the result you did not yeah. want. I mean, were there was there put more, I know you don't try to think about pressure and all that stuff, but did you kind of feel like you need to come out and have a good attitude? Because this is a game you guys got to win. No, we kind of take each day by day, and not that I put more pressure on this outing more than anything. It's just come in, be get one to know at the end of the day, be one to know. Texas was able to kind of get some runs up thanks to that long ball there. What were you seeing there of their batters? Um, that they had good approaches. I think early in the count they were willing to chase, but when it came to two strikes, they weren't willing to chase, and they uh, stuck to their approach as well. How gratifying is it to get a win on a senior night? Oh, it's huge. I know a lot of festivities going on throughout the day, ending with Keanu, you know, proposing to his girlfriend. So it was just a really cool moment to end up getting the W tonight. And what about that moment? Oh, it was surreal. I'm in the bullpen with uh, my pitch coach, and all of a sudden I see on the scoreboard he's on a knee, and I, it's it makes it makes you feel that there's big, it, bigger than baseball at the end of the day. So. Is it cool for him, though? He was able to play a role in the game. He had pitch Definitely. runs, scored that big run, that big insurance run. Definitely. I think as a team, as a collective, we're starting to petition for uh, Keanu in the Hall of Fame, UCF Hall of Fame. <laughs> and you're really close to Keanu. He's down in the bullpen with yeah. you guys. I mean, what's that relationship like? Oh, he's just an all-around great human being. I, think, I don't think anyone in that locker room has anything bad to say about him. I think as a person, you know, we talk about bigger than baseball. He's just a great human being. And then on the field, he contributes. So it's, at the end of the day, he's just a great guy all around. What about his journey? I mean, I don't know that. Exactly. That's why I started. He's Hall of Fame, Keanu Suarez. You talked about the last, the last at bat with Castellano, but what about like the rest of his outing? Five strikeouts and two, in two point one it, it, innings. Just what do you have to say about his entire outing? Yeah, I mean that's just what Dom does. I think we kind of that's what we are used to. And, uh, it's it's what we expect at the end of the day. And not saying he didn't do great. That's that's what he does. So. What was Coach's message after this one? Uh, just to attack tomorrow night. That's the biggest thing we want to get. Make, we want to win the series. One win's nice, but we still got work to do. I gotta ask, you're Dom. There's Dominic. When you yeah. guys are on the same team, did you decide, well, I'm gonna go by Dom, and you're gonna go by Dominic, so that I make it a little less confusing? Did you guys have that? Discussion? And it ended up working out like that, but uh, it, did, it didn't mean to go like that, but it worked out like okay. it. <laughs> What do you have to th what would you have to say tomorrow for the starters and the rest of the bullpen pitchers that take on the Longhorns tomorrow? What I just think uh, trust your pitchers at the end of the day. I think we we all as a staff have stuff to beat them, and we're not playing we're not playing the front of the jersey. We're playing the last team on their jersey, and we're we all collectively can beat them as a whole. So I think that's the biggest thing. What makes them a difficult out? I just think they're all talented. You know, I mean, one through nine, there there's no easy at bat, and you just got to fight throughout. It's all about competing at the end of the day. You have fun tonight. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Good team win. Thank you. I appreciate it. Best of luck, Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Thank Tom. Thank you.